Hey everybody, Derek here, and in this video we are going to be making our own custom Ubuntu distribution. So let's start off by going into the terminal and uh, installing a couple programs that we like. And uh, I would say that I'd like mine to be... Hmm. I'm not, I'm a very simple guy when it comes to this kind of stuff, but I should, I should suppose I'll install Steam. Maybe I will install Audacity, GIMP, Caden Live, Terminator, and uh, Chromium. And while that's going, I'm going to go into the themes and uh, going to customize the way it looks. Not a fan of ambiance. I have this Numix theme here. Gonna enable that one. And uh, we'll also set the icons to Why not look happy to <laughs> the uh, the Mac one just just for the heck of it and uh, let's change the wallpaper to uh, psh, pictures as you can see I made this uh, you know what if it's gonna look like a Mac let's just do that as you can see I use this VM to customize and make Ubuntu look like and Gnome Shell look like Mac OS. So that's why I did that. But uh, I suppose we should also enable that. Go here, Shell theme. I have to reopen that. That's one thing that's annoying about Gnome is that the Tweak app has to be relaunched to access anything and change the settings. Okay, so we've got an Ubuntu looking high Sierra type thing. Uh, so now let's install the app. So I'm going to be going through my article here because when things are complicated, I like to just follow along with what I've written. That way everybody understands what's going on. So get open a terminal and you're gonna to want to install the Git tool. Now Git is important here because it allows us to interact with the GitHub repository for this app as well as stuff on GitLab and such. So once this is done installing, we will get ahead and get going with that. All right, now that my apps are done installing, I can install the Git tool. Okay, so it says that Git's already installed. So I can go back to the article here and uh, clone the source code. And uh, from there, I can just do CD distro share imager sudo chmod plus x distro share imager dot sh. And we go down to the next command and uh, we have to update and of course my computer is already up to date so I don't really need to worry about that. And the next step though is to run the script and uh, that is just sudo dot slash distro share imager sh and from here we can watch it work. This is going to make quite a large disk. I don't know if it's going to take up the entire hard drive or what, but it will take a very long time. And uh, it'll get larger as the files get bigger and bigger. I'm just going to install a bunch of stuff and uh, just let it go. The best thing I would say is just let this run in a window while you're doing other stuff. Hope that you have a large enough uh, hard drive and let it go. It's going to generate different boot images and do different things. I 
All right, so the creation process is over. So if we go to home, and you can go there by going to computer, home, distro share, we can see the live CD ISO. Now my ISO is very, very small, despite how much stuff is on it. It's only 2.1 gigabytes. So at this point, I'm going to copy this ISO and I'm going to put it on my network so that I can access it outside of the virtual machine and then load it back in. Now I'm putting it on my network to get it outside of the VM so that I can load it up and show it to you. But uh, if this was a real computer, the next step would be if you uh, go to the description and follow along is to burn this to a disk. But I'm just getting this outside of the VM so that I can load it back up so that we can take a look at it and see what it looks like, customizations and stuff like that. So at this point, the live disk is working and it's a custom set up, like I said, not the traditional Ubuntu installer, and uh, we've got a lot of different options. It doesn't look like it's supposed to, you know, there's no purple, but uh, you can load it up and install Ubuntu like normal. I have a lot of different stuff installed on here, so when I was using it, I had GNOME logged in, but I also have a bunch of different desktops, so I'm not entirely sure what one is going to load. But the cool thing here is that you can set this up so that it loads all of your different stuff. So custom programs and uh, stuff like that. Let's see what we got here. So I installed Steam before I did the setup. And of course, that's there. And then we've got Audacity, which I set up automatically. I installed Caden Live. And uh, we've also got Chromium. So my custom setup is mostly there. And uh, like I said, earlier, it saves it to the ISO file uh, in the home folder, and you can just burn that to a flash drive and set that up like normal. Anyways, guys, uh, that's how to make a custom Ubuntu distro, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.